T minus. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I think it was two years ago I went to my first camp and I just felt the love of God. I'm like, I need to get out there and do something about this world. God told me, Cain, you could reach the world by doing fine arts events and trying to spread the gospel with these events like fine arts and camp. They will also help me grow my uh, passion for the Lord and grow my abilities for the Lord. Fine arts, it's amazing. It's, it helps your student develop and deploy their ability that they think that it might not be useful, but it could be useful for the Lord because everyone is on this earth with a purpose and they were all given a gift. Even if people don't see it, the Lord sees it. I was on fire for God. We just got back from camp and I was so excited, but I kept falling back into sins every single day. And I felt like I just need more Jesus. So I kept going to church, going to church. But I felt like my environment that I was in was starting back up school, and I was just so tired, so the enemy kept sneaking in. But once I went to fine arts, it showed me that even when I am tired, that I know how to control my thoughts so I don't let the enemy back in, so I don't fall back into temptation or sins. And it just really helped me control my mind. At fine arts, God called me to be a pastor just to learn about the gospel. And that one night just changed my entire life and I haven't been the same since. Me and my relationship with people, we got so much better. So my short sermon was the love of God and I was really nervous about it. And when I went in there, it was a really hot room so it made me even more nervous. And I was and I was drenched and I just needed water. And then my friends and family and my peers that were in there at the moment, they started praying over me and they were like, hey, you got this. They started praying, some were praying in tongues and I was like, Lord, give me the words to speak and the courage to go up there. I went up there. I was so dry-throated, but I killed it. And I was just so happy that I got up there and I could spread the word. Even if something bad went wrong, God didn't care about how I did it. He just cared about my heart behind it. Because if I had no heart behind my sermon, that would have been a bland sermon. It's, it's not just about the abilities God gives you. It's about the relationship He wants you to have. I was really nervous at Fine Arts. I got so nervous, but when I did it, I realized all the things that are making us nervous, they're just attacks from the enemy. So recently I joined a, a FCA, a Fellowship Christian Athlete Club, and I did my short sermon while I was waiting for the teacher. And I didn't feel nervous at all because I already knew God was watching over me, keeping me safe from everything that was trying to hold on me, say, don't do it, Kane, don't do it, Kane. But I still did it anyways because of what happened at Fine Arts when I got so nervous, I just prayed about it and the Lord just guided me through and gave me the words to say. You have to have the heart and the love of God behind the things that you do so you can not only grow your abilities, but you can also grow with God. Fine Arts, it's a way where your students can learn about God, but not only learn about them, but grow with Him, and also grow their ability to use it for Him.